In this video we're going to go over how to make macros. But what are macros? Macros are a series of key presses that are programmed into one key press or a combo key press. So if you do something quite often, you might want to uh, create a macro and put it in your um, macro editor so that you can uh, reuse that as many times as you want. Now, I don't want you to get mixed up with um, regular keyboard macros and playback macros. These are playback macros. Put, put them in and you just hit Alt-1, Alt-2, Alt-3, whatever you've got. You can come in here and change these rather quickly. Um, like if you have the name of the attorney that you just totally missed it and you need to go in and make sure go in there and make it easier for yourself by inserting them. Alright, here we go. All right, we're, if I wanted to bold, let's say this word, I'd have to highlight it. So I'm double clicking to highlight in this instance. And then I'd have to take my mouse up here and hit B for bold. As you can see, it's bolded. And if I want to undo it, I highlight it again. I'm going to unbold it. If I wanted to not take my fingers off of the keyboard, I'd have to hit F4 and then Alt S and then hit enter for bold or alt B for bold. Or rather B for bold. And now we've got that highlighted. That's a lot of uh, key presses. So now if I wanted to do that all in one key press so it would do exactly what I just did, I'm going to unbold it again. We need to make a macro. So we know what our key presses are. F4 which starts the highlight, Alt S for style, and B for bold. So now we're going to make creator macro with that. Here's our macro creator. You need to make sure that it's on. If it's off, I'm going to disable it right now so you can see it's grayed out. I'm hitting the tilde key to turn that off and on. That's defaulted in winter. So I'm going to turn it on, and I want to start the recording session, so I'm going to click on it you'll see it change. It's now ready to record all of my key presses. Macros do not take mouse movements, so uh, using your mouth to, mouse to create a macro will not work. So my key presses, F4 to start the highlighting, Alt S to go to style, and B for bold. That's all I need to do uh, if I want to do this manually, so I'm done. I'm going to click on my recording so it stops the recording of my macro or my key presses and here comes up our dialog box. What is this? This is bold. What am I going to assign that to? I'm going to assign it to Alt B. Go down, click on OK. So now let's uh, see how our macro is doing. I'm going to hit Alt B as in boy and there we go. It went through all the steps. If you can see, it, it, it's a lot slower when I'm um, video uh, recording this at the same time, so you can see some of the steps happening. Generally, in your when you do this, you won't see the steps happening. What are some of the other things that we can do to make our lives easier? Let's say after the question here, instead of an answer, it's just supposed to be the witness. Um, I can set my macro. Going to hit delete twice. I'm going to type in the witness. All right, and I'm going to stop my recording. I'm going to say A answer to to witness and I'm going to assign that to let's say Alt W. You can sign it to whatever you want whatever's going to work on your fingers. Um, and I'm going to find another A, I'm stick my cursor there, and I'm going to say Alt-W, and there you go.
and you can do this for anything that that you use um, I have s some people who put um, a section break they will change the witness to the defendant insert the court you can do anything that you want here you can even if you wanted to say this is just going to be an editing mode program all of your macros to an alternative keyboard so they don't interfere with the key with the macros that are already programmed um, by Procat and if you were to go up to myprocat.com and go into the winner room you'll see the quick lookup guide and I'm opening this up so we can take a look at it and let's go to 100 percent and you'll see that there are some keys that are already set and do their own macros and that's in the regular Procat keyboard so if I were to hit control C and I had highlighted something that would copy it to the clipboard and I could paste it later someplace else in another document perhaps and hit control V and that would paste it in there and all this from the keyboard and all it, when you get good at using these macros on your keyboard that means you're not taking your hands off the keyboard to use a mouse to move around it'll make you more efficient uh, time is money so uh, to do and get used to I advise doing one or two at a time well those are macros um, you might want to post up to Facebook on Procat's Facebook page and see what kind of macros people commonly use um, that might be a, a good source of uh, information. Well, I hope this helped, and I'll see you in my next video.